In 1874, Don Bosco received invitation to send his Salesians as missionaries to various places. It was then that he was reminded of a dream he had in 1872, which he then narrated to his Salesians. Don Bosco found himself transported into a wild, unknown region, a flat plain land without any cultivation. Here he saw ferocious men running about wearing animal skin and carrying spears that was covered with flesh and blood. The ground was stewed with dead and dying men. The entire landscape looked strange. As he was watching this, from one end there appeared to be missionaries arriving to preach the gospel to them. Don Bosco was unable to recognize any of them. They walked fearlessly miss these fearsome people but the natives got angry at the sight of them and killed them tearing them to pieces don bosco was horrified he began to wonder how the gospel could be shared with these people just as he was thinking about it he saw another group of missionaries approaching the people joyfully they were his own salesians the moment he recognized them He wanted to stop them from going to the native for fear that they would just be killed just like the missionaries before. However, to his surprise, the joyful enthusiasm of the group made a positive impact on the natives. They threw down their spears and received the salutation with respect. Don Bosco went on to see his Salesian missionaries instructing the natives and how they reciprocated by listening attentively to them. They were quick to learn and practiced what was taught to them. Later when the Salesians began to recite the rosary, the people laid down their arms, kneeled down and joined them in prayers. This was Don Bosco's first missionary dream and he was eager to find out who those strange people were and what the strange place was. He looked at the books and was not able to find the right description among the people in Africa, India and Australia. Only when he received an offer from the region of Patagonia in Argentina did the description of that strange place and the people matched and Don Bosco knew that this was what God wanted and guess what a year later in 1875 Don Bosco sent his best men to Patagonia to start the first Salesian work outside Italy Let us pray God our loving father we come before you inspired by the life and dream of saint john bosco through his intercession grant us the strength to persevere in our own dreams and mission despite the difficulties we may face bless us with the humility strength and resilience to work tirelessly for the transformation of hearts just as saint john bosco did for the young souls in his care we pray for the wisdom to approach challenges with gentleness to always aspire for the beauty of virtue and to avoid the ugliness of sin may our loving mother mary guide us on the path to holiness so that we may find solace in the moments of uncertainty trusting that in due time we will understand the greater purpose of our endeavors we make this prayer through jesus christ our lord amen